Hello rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbitals Rocket Shop where we continue working on the world's only crewed crowdfunded space rocket Spica. Today is December 25th and it's time for some rocket updates. I don't even know where to begin this week, but let's start with Spica's intertank section. With the help of a couple of belt straps, Jakob and Jorgen wrapped the steel shell around its skeleton, which we have welded in one of our previous episodes. Then it was down to a lot of fine tuning with clamps and hammers to get the shell sitting nicely. In between each of these fine adjustments, Jorgen would tack weld the shell into place on each side and move further down. After a long while, he made his way all around and finished off with a few tack welds on the horizontal seam of the shell. That was it for the day, but it is nice to see the first section of Spica coming along. We will finally need to do a couple of long, continuous welds all the way around and add some 60 support ribs between the flanges and the shell to give it more strength. That will help support the ton weighing propellant tanks that will connect to it from both sides. In the meantime, we had Thomas and Thomas measuring more oil burner nozzles for our liquid nitrogen evaporator burner. Loading up a tank with water, pressurizing it, letting water flow for a few minutes, weighing it, writing the results down and repeating it. At the same time, Jakob was running our CNC plasma cutter next door. After Scott implemented the automatic torch height control for it, we've been meaning to see how it would handle cutting plates with a sloping surface. That would be extremely handy for cutting piping holes on Spica's rounded propellant tank bulkheads. So Jakob began at a modest few degree angle, making his way up in small increments while at the same time fine tuning the voltage on the plasma torch. The bulkheads would require the torch to move up and down at a 15 degree incline. That proved to be an non-issue for the height controller and we even went up to 20 degrees with no issues. The holes turned out pretty round with less than a millimeter air which we can easily adjust for, so soon we can start welding Spica's bulkheads as well. But next let's take a step outside, Mats had finished his full scale upgraded balloon design which will help with the space capsule re-entry, and it needed a test payload to be thrown off a roof, however this is just a teaser for an upcoming video so tune in for that next week. And now let's get to the title of this video. Our intern Adrian was sadly finishing his last days with us and was packing his reaction control system to bring it back home with him to Germany where he will need to defend his master thesis and show it off to his university. But before he left we wanted to get some nice images and videos of his thrusters in action. What we saw in the right lighting conditions was the coldest shock diamonds CS has ever seen. Isn't that beautiful? Now we can confidently say that the flow coming out of those nozzles was supersonic. And since this was Adrian's last day, we decided to end it off with a barbecue and say our thanks and farewells after having a few burgers together. We would like to say another big thanks to Adrian for all his amazing work. If you are looking for a skilled mechatronics engineer in Germany, grab him before someone else does. That is all for now, so as always, thank you for watching and supporting us. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so we can see you next time when we get one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.compsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.